Nickelodeon, you just sunk to a new low. I just watched that new show, Augie and the Cockroaches. I only watched the for first short, of course, because um, I wanted to get impression. Okay, this is awful. Listen, Nick, you're improving a little bit on the live-action spectrum. 100 Things to Do Before High School has a lot of promise, and I'm excited for it. But you just need to up your animation game. Yeah, I just, just watched the very first short, and I am enraged at this. Okay, so, why? I am a classic cartoon fan myself. This this show is Tom and Jerry without its charm. I'm not even joking. If a I'll check the internet after this for to see if anyone else has reviewed this show. But no, this is atrocious. Why? 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 Um, I'll explain why it's awful now. Um, so it's a slapstick show. On Nickelodeon. Sounds a little good to start. But it all goes wrong. So Augie's this cat. Um, and then there's these cockroaches who you know nothing about other than that they're trying to sabotage him. Um, because he did one like bad thing to him, to that to them. I I don't know what to say how bad this is. First of all, the slapstick fails in every angle. And I am not joking about his failures. The slapstick, um, the slapstick, um, tries to do, like, Tom and Jerry gags like the diving board. Nope, all without the charm. Also, might as well take this out now. The animation on this thing is awful. I will probably watch the second short and do another review on that, and then the third short soon. Yeah, this is going to be a long few years for me. See, and what annoys me is this is an import show. Nickelodeon, you only harm my thoughts on you when you do these things. You know, seriously, you could have easily tried to take something unique and interesting. Um, you could have tried creating your own one. Oh, by the way, I'll get to the, I'll, I'll attack this now. Um, so, um, Tom and Jerry's classical music is amazing. I, it suits the mood. This one is, okay, Augie and the Cockroaches is entirely non-speaking. This is a problem for multiple reasons. The first reason, um, is, um, is, well, the characters don't get to do dialogue, thus creating an uninteresting story. Also, also, all the music they do use for it is, like, more modern. They try to get a classical feel, but with the effects, it just seems like a modern rehash. So I give this show a fail, and I plan to attack you again and again. Kind of like how in Pirates and Traitors I plunder that bay, the British Bay when I work for the Spanish. Anyway, see you later. I am out.